Hey guys, it's Car Guy 11 Today we're going to answer a question a lot of you have asked about if I had to choose one sports car, which would it be? And of course, the choices are what I'm in now, my new GR Supra, and my C7 Corvette Z51. So, I know a lot of you guys are interested in the differences. We're going to go through that today. I'm going to hop into both cars and try to explain it. And then, at the end, I will give you my pick if I had to choose only one of these cars. Alright, so starting off in the Supra, this car is awesome because it's small and nimble. It feels like a go-kart. You can just toss it around very easily. The suspension is very firm and it actually rides a little rougher than the Corvette, surprisingly so. With the Corvette on comfort mode, the, the shocks are softer than even the comfort mode in the Supra. So let's do a little acceleration here. some traction at the start on this cool morning but uh, it goes pretty well although not as fast as the Corvette uh, another thing to note what you heard there was the true sound of the Supra I've actually turned off the sound through the speakers yes it has some fake sound going through the speakers to amplify the engine notes and I've turned it off through coding so I will have a video on that in the future, so stay tuned for that. But I do like how it sounds, that straight six sound, and you get the crackles and pops from the exhaust. It can be accentuated a little more, and stay tuned for the future, maybe an exhaust or intake is in the future, but it's definitely not as loud as the Corvette. As far as the handling goes though, it is wonderful. On the sport suspension, it does firm up a, a little, not a ton. Probably, again, not as firm as the Corvette in track mode. But it handles these curves beautifully. All around the Supra chassis though is super stiff. Way stiffer than the Corvette. Has the fixed top roof and when you hit a bump in the Supra, you hit it and it goes away. In the Corvette, it lingers. You'll, you'll feel the body jitter. And I love a solid feeling car. That's why I love this car. Also, I'm in automatic right now, so all these downshifts and upshifts are super quick and it's, it's acting almost like I'm driving a manual. Now, of course, I can do the paddles and they're super responsive. So it is an awesome difference, actually. The transmission is very responsive in automatic, in sport mode, and in the Corvette, of course, it's a manual, and that's a different kind of experience. So, it's, it's really up to you what you prefer. Uh, I like both, but I have to say I give an edge still to the manual because you do have that ultimate control. The Supra is quieter inside, which makes for a more livable daily driver. I think this car is better as a daily driver. It is smaller, so you're not going to have as much cargo capacity. <laughs> but this is a fun back road car. And very fast. You also are not going to have as much passenger space as in the Corvette. So as a, on the cross-country drive I did last year, probably we prefer the Corvette because there was just a little bit more room to uh, move around in, and of course the cargo area was larger. The steering on the, on the Supra is pretty responsive. Again, Corvette little edge there with the uh, responsiveness. Brakes on the Supra are excellent. Probably give the edge 
to the Supra on the braking. Of course, I haven't had it on the road course yet, but um, yeah, we'll have to see that next year. Now, I did have both Corvette and Supra in autocross. I would give the Supra the edge in autocrossing. And, and the reason being, it's super nimble, easy to control the Supra, and you can slide it out when you want, and also handles wonderfully. On the drag strip, again, I've had the C7 and the Supra there. Supra beat it by a small amount, but beat it mainly due because of the transmission. Uh, manuals, of course, are slower at the drag strip, but uh, it did beat it. So let's go jump into the C7 and I'll give you my thoughts. All right, guys, now we're hopping into C7. And just to start out, this car is a little more raw. It's definitely louder inside and out. So let's do an acceleration here. Of course, with the manual C7. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's faster, it's louder. It hooked up very well, Michelin Pilot 4S tires. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just more visceral car. Also, I can actually see better out of it. Uh, the, the hood is lower. You have more uh, view of the road, and that's important, you know, especially on a racetrack. Now, for the ride, I have to put it into track mode to get it as firm as the Supra, actually. Um, the Supra, like I said, rides very firm, but it's also a very solid chassis, so when you hit a bump, it quickly dissipates. This car, not so much. I'm gonna say I actually prefer the, the ride of the Supra, even though it's firmer. I'd rather have that responsiveness because even the Corvette, it's, it's a larger vehicle, and even at this track mode suspension, just doesn't feel as nimble. Of course, it handles great because there's wider tires, I thought actually I was gonna give the ride to the Corvette. Now, I have to say the Corvette rides smoother if you're just cruising, but for performance driving, I don't know, I kinda like the, the Supra. The steering is a little more direct on the Corvette. I love the sound of the V8. It doesn't have the crackles, or as many as the crackles. It does crackle a little bit, especially with the X-Pipe I put on. Also, the seats hold you in more in the Supra. They're firmer, and they have the air bladders that adjust it. Of course, I don't have the air bladders on my 1LT. Another thing, on the C7, you do get a lot more gauges on the digital cluster. You could have oil temperature, oil pressure, um, trans temp even, stuff like that that you don't get on the Supra. Now, the C7 is faster stock, but the Supra is a tune away from being faster. Overall, let me let me uh, just summarize everything. So I think for a daily driver, the Supra is better. It's it's a little bit more insulated. It is a firm ride, but I I don't mind firm rides, and it's just a nicer overall interior, and it's a very fun car to drive on the street. The Corvette is more comfortable if you're just cruising on the street 
and it's faster, it sounds better, and um, the manual uh, obviously is a plus in my book, but not for everybody. It is fun. Uh, both cars are super fun. This is a very tough choice, actually. It's tough for me to say, but I think I will have to go with the Corvette if I had to pick one car, one sports car. I love the Supra, though. I, I think it's a perfect size, and it's a super fun to drive. But if I had to pick one with the manual, with the V8, with the exhaust sound, and this car does everything well, I'd have to go with the C7. I really want to get the Supra out on the road course racetrack to see how that does. But um, I know this does excellent on that as well. But overall, that's what I think. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, it's a tough choice. I, I go back and forth, honestly. Um, but uh, yeah, for now, that's what I'm gonna pick. Definitely stay tuned for more Supra videos and Corvette videos, C7 and C8. I hope you enjoyed this one. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you did. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.